AOB is the diameter of a circle. So AOB is its diameter with center zero, with center zero and radius five. That means the diameter is 10. BCD is an arc of the circle. BCD is an arc of the circle. BD, BD is a chord, an angle. BAD, B. AD, this one here is 42 degrees. Calculate the area of the shaded segment, which is this one here. Right, in order to find the area of the shaded uh, segment, we need to know the radius of the circle, which we have, but we also will need to find this angle here. So we will need to calculate the angle BOD, this angle here. So we only have this one angle here, but we notice if O A and O D are equal radii, so this is also five centimeters, which means that this angle here is also uh, forty-two degrees. So, considering consider ang triangle A O D, A O D, this triangle here, which is isosceles because this length is equal to this length, equal radii. Then angle ADO, ADO, this one here, will be equal to 42. Right, now this angle here, which is an exterior angle of the triangle AOD, is equal to the sum of the two interior angles. So yeah, angle BOD will be equal to 42 plus 42. The reason being the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its two interior of its opposite two interior angles. So therefore 42 plus 42 is equal to 84. So what we're saying is that angle there will be equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So we now have that, that angle is 84, which now allows us to calculate the area of the segment. So just using the idea that this is 84, the area of the shaded segment, which is this shaded, uh, region here is equal to the area of the sector OBD, so the sector, minus the area of the triangle OBD. So that will be some angle over 360 times the area of the circle, which is pi r squared, minus a half r squared sine theta. So it's this length times this length, and this uh, angle here is the included angle. So we can use a half AB sine C, which is um, half, in this case, R times R, which you write as R squared sine of this angle here, 84. So putting in the information, we're going to have 84 over 360 times pi times 5 squared minus a half times 5 squared times the sine of 84 degrees. So making sure our calculator is in degree mode and also use the fraction key for these. You can type it all in one go and you'll get an answer of 5.894, etc. Normally we give answers like this to three significant figures, so this 4 has no effect on that 9. So the final answer will be 5.89 centimetres squared, because it's an area, to three significant figures. Okay, so this has been a video to show, help show you how to find the area of a segment given some one other angle in the uh, circle. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.